to download Anki, navigate to AnkiSRS.net and select the download button. There's versions for both Mac and for Windows, but I already have it installed, so I'm just going to open up the version that I've already downloaded. The first thing you're going to want to do is install an add-on called Japanese Support. So go up to select Tools, Add-ons, and Browse and Install, and click the Browse button. And this will open up the website with all the Anki add-ons. Uh, Control F or Command F and search for one called Japanese Support. And it should be about a quarter of the way down the page. Uh, click Info and scroll down until you see the number that it says to paste into Anki. So copy and reopen up Anki and then paste it in the code box and click OK. Like so. It'll take a while to download but I skip past that part and once everything is complete it'll ask you to restart so do so and what this will do is it'll allow Furigana support automatically in Japanese flashcards. To add a deck, click Create Deck at the bottom, and let's just call this one uh, Sample Deck, and click OK. Click the Sample Deck from the deck list, and to add a note card, click Add, and we're going to change the type. So click the button next to Type, and click Manage, and this should open up a new window, and we want to add a new note type. Uh, click the one that says Add Japanese Recognition and Recall, and what this one does is it creates two flashcards for each note you add. One of them is the Japanese word and the other one is the English definition. So once we have that done, just close this out and select it from our note list. Click choose and uh, if you click on the cards button it shows you how the cards are set up. And I like it where the furigana is given to you uh, on the front instead of just the kanji. So cut and paste the line that says furigana reading and replace the ones that say uh, expression in both the recognition and the recall cards. Click the close button and type in kanji whichever word you want to be on the card. For this card we'll do jōzu. This is the reason why we installed the Japanese support add-on. As you can see in the reading field, the add-on automatically fills in the furigana for all the kanji that you type in the expression field. Lastly, you're going to want to type the English definition in the meaning field. And I'm just using the definitions given by the Genki textbook. And before you finish adding the card, make sure to tag it with which lesson the word comes from and click Add to add the cards to your deck. When you click Close, you can see that there are now two cards in our deck. One is the kanji and furigana on top, and the other is the English definition. As you can see, uh, the furigana shows on top automatically above the kanji, and to show the answer, either press spacebar or click the Show Answer button at the bottom of the screen. Once you see the answer, you need to tell Anki how well you knew that one. Click again if you didn't know it at all, good if you kind of knew it, and easy if you really have it down. Once you've gone through all the cards scheduled for that day, Anki will let you know you're done. Now ideally you'll study little bits every day, but just in case you need to cram, there's that option too. Select your deck and select Custom Study, and then Study by Card State or Tag, and then All Cards in Random Order or Cram Mode. This will select 100 random cards from the deck and place them in a custom study deck. Then click Choose Tags and select the tags to exclude at the bottom. All the ones highlighted are ones that will not appear in the deck. So for example, this one right here will select Lesson 7 and click Study Now to begin. One of the other major benefits of Anki is that you can also download shared decks made by other students. To do this, go back to the deck screen and select Get Shared at the bottom. Select Japanese, and as you can see, there are a lot of decks to choose from, 
You can sort by stars to see which ones are the best recommended. And you can also search for Genki to show decks related to the Genki textbook. To download them, click the Info button next to the name, which will open up the download page for you to download the decks. Click the Download button, and once it's complete, just click on the APKG file to import the deck into Anki. As you can see, Genki 1 and 2 vocabulary is now imported, and we can do the same custom study thing that we did with the previous one, selecting everything except for Lesson 7, and once that's done, just begin studying. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation, and don't be afraid, I know that there's a lot of different settings, and it's so customizable, and you can get lost in the menus, but Anki really is a great program for studying Japanese, or really any language. It comes highly recommended by me.